everything inside me. In the video Montero call me by your name, Lil Nas X descends to hell and literally grinds on Satan. The rapper also released custom Satan shoes which contain actual human blood and limited to 666 pairs. Lil Nas X, or LNX, rose to worldwide fame with the independently released Old Town Road. In a matter of weeks, the song went from being a viral sensation to the international hit that defined the year 2019. The success of Old Town Road was due to several facts. It was fun, it was catchy, and it bridged the gap between rap and country music. The result, children were dancing to the song, while chanting every word of its lyrics at birthday parties and summer camps. Then LNX got signed to Columbia Records. Shortly after, LNX popularity was weaponized to become a vehicle for the elite's agenda. Soon after, LNX started displaying all of the signs and symbols associated with the occult elite. LNX did the one-eye sign on the cover of Teen Vogue. That sign proved that LNX was not paving his own road. The road is being paved for him. While LNX's first album was somewhat rushed to cash into the Old Town Road craze, the record company took its time for the second album. The rapper's elite handlers wanted to make sure that his young fans were fully exposed to all of the facets of its toxic agenda, hypersexualization, gender confusion, and, of course, all-out Satanism. The result, the first single, Montero Call Me By Your Name, shamelessly proselytizes for Satanism while bombarding young viewers with explicit imagery. If you watch other videos on this channel, you know that this agenda is nothing new. However, it used to be much more subtle. But not Montero, LNX is literally grinding on Satan for about 30% of the video. And, when one looks deeper into the symbolism of the video, we understand the full depth of the elite's depravity. We also understand how they prey on the minds of young people like vultures. Here's a look at the video. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. If one reads mass media reviews, Montero, is about LNX being his real self, because Montero is his real first name. However, the video tells a whole other story. Through biblical references and overt symbolism, Montero becomes a celebration of Satanism disguised as a queer song. The first scene shows a heavenly setting. However, the horns hint at evil lurking. The video begins with a narrator saying, In life, we hide the parts of ourselves we don't want the world to see. We lock them away. We tell them no. We banish them. But here, we don't. Welcome to Montero. Some might think that this is about LNX wanting to be openly gay. However, the video makes it clear it is about LNX being openly satanic. In the Garden of Eden, LNX plays the role of Adam or Eve or both combined, who knows? Then, the biblical serpent, Achaia Lucifer, takes an alien human form and gets rather lascivious with LNX. As Lucifer performs an explicit act on LNX, the camera pans back to the tree. On the Tree of Knowledge, are inscribed enigmatic words and symbols. There is nothing random happening in this scene. Everything here has a profound meaning to the occult elite. Here are some examples. Leviathan's Cross, also known as the Cross of Satan. 666 symbol. This is a screenshot of an FBI file, describing the symbol of the spiral used in pedo circles to identify little boy lovers. The Greek words of the tree, form a quote taken from Plato's Symposium. It says, After the division the two parts of man, each desiring his other half. To better understand this quote, we must look at the general context of the Symposium. In this philosophical text, several men attend a banquet, where wine is flowing freely, and participate in a contest of speeches to praise heroes, the god of love and desire. 
Strangely enough, one of the speeches praises boy love. Pausanias contrasts common desire with a heavenly love between an older man and a young man, or before the age when his beard starts to grow, in which the two exchange sexual pleasure, while the older man imparts wisdom to the younger one. After being possessed by Lucifer, LNX finds himself on Earth, and he's being judged with severity. Meanwhile, LNX sings some explicit lyrics. I want that jet lag from f***ing and flying. Shoot a child in your mouth while I'm ridden. This is a crowd of dumb-looking people, who appear to be blind, yells at LNX. Do these people represent the unenlightened masses? The rest of the verse is extremely telling. A sign of the times every time that I speak. A dime and an ein, it was mine every week. What a time, an incline, God was shining on me. Now I can't leave. And now I'm acting hell elite. Never want the niggas that's in my league. I wanna f the ones I envy, I envy. The first line is a reference to LNX critics, who say that his entire career is a sign of the biblical end times where everything degenerates. In the rest of this verse, LNX sings about his success in the music industry. A dime and a nine, is a reference to Old Town Road sitting at number one in Billboard charts for 19 weeks. In another line, LNX says that he can't leave the industry, and that he's now acting hell elite. In other words, he's stuck, and he's under the control of the industry. The last line is about him lusting after those he envies, which is a direct reference to two cardinal sins of Christianity, lust and envy. In other words, he now lives by the sinful ways of the elite. After being stoned by the people, LNX ascends to heaven. However, a stripper pole emerges, and LNX decides to descend into hell. As a stripper. This screenshot shows LNX is now in underwear and knee-high boots, as slides down a stripper pole to hell. This screenshot shows LNX arrives at the throne of Satan. This scene is replete with symbols that are used in actual black magic and satanic rituals. There is a reason why these exact symbols keep appearing in popular culture. This is not entertainment, this is religious indoctrination. Symbol on the ground is inspired by the goat of Mendes Pentagram, as depicted by Stanislas de Gaida in Clef de la Maginoir. On the left, Adam and Eve are united in a magical union of the opposites. LNX embodied the same concept at the beginning of the video. On the right is the goat of Mendes inside an inverted pentagram. This symbol was used to form the sigil of the Church of Satan. Around the pentagram is the Latin saying damn in quad non intelligent, which means they condemn what they don't understand. Dude, Lil Nas X, if that's even your real name, I don't think you fully understand what this is all about. Then, LNX literally grinds on Satan for an uncomfortable amount of seconds. This scene sums up the entire video. And it sums up the message the elite wants to communicate to young people. This is not about being yourself, it is about becoming a literal prostitute to the elite system, and submitting to its satanic ways. After seducing Satan, LNX grabs Satan's horns, and places them on his own head. Then, he becomes a Lucifer-like fallen angel. In the final scene, LNX achieves the ultimate goal of occultists. To become a god himself. His initiation into the satanic realm is complete. Some mass media critics claim that the satanic context of the video is actually a metaphor about him being gay and condemned for his lifestyle. However, his Satan shoes prove that there is no metaphor happening here. Everything is quite literal. Alongside his infernal video, LNX collaborated with the streetwear company MSCHF to release custom Nike sneakers. The number of pairs available, 666. The imagery on the official website of the shoes is basically a shrine to Satan. This is what we see while the website loads. This is a screenshot of the Satan shoe website. Depictions of hell and the devil, the number 666, inverted crosses, inverted pentagrams. It's all there. On the shoe is also written, Luke 1018. This biblical verse says, and he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. These shoes are cursed. And this, LNX does the one-eye sign while holding a 666 shoe. 
What else does he need to do to make you understand that he's a complete slave to the satanic elite? The website also mentions that the sole of each shoe contains one drop of human blood. The fact that this item contains actual blood is extremely meaningful. First, the elite loves to wear items that contain actual human organic matter. Furthermore, the drop of blood alludes to the elite's favorite activities. Witchcraft and blood sacrifices. Lil Nas X's first hit, Old Time Road, was a mega hit that was particularly loved by children. As with nearly every celebrity that is popular with young people, LNX was recruited by the elite to propagate its toxic agenda. The video Montero manages to combine all of the toxicity the elite wants to indoctrinate the youth with hypersexualization, gender blurring, and the promotion of Satanism as a cool religion. Contrary to what is being said in mass media about this song, nothing about it empowering or liberating. It is about slavery. In the video, LNX is a literal sex worker for Satan. The two other leading figures in rap right now are Cardi B and Megan Stallion. They are also being praised for their playing the roles of prostitutes in a music video. Is black culture truly being empowered right now? Or is it being pimped by the elite? As LNX says himself, the video Montero is definitely a sign of the times. The scene where he grinds on the devil is as symbolic as it is visceral. It encapsulates everything that is wrong, toxic, and debased in popular culture today. It reflects the dark minds of those who control the music business, and the sick messages it is looking to indoctrinate young people with. And the fact that mass media is celebrating this thing, is telling. On one hand, they are censoring speech, cancelling people, and burning books that go slightly against its agenda. On the other hand, they talk about free speech, when defending WAP, a video about beta kitten slaves, cuties, a movie promoting the sexualization of 11-year-old children, and El Diablo, a Eurovision song about being in love with the devil. In short, Montero is a blatant confirmation of everything that has been described on this channel for years. If watching LNX grinding on Satan doesn't convince you that there's an agenda going on, then absolutely nothing will. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.